icon, the blockchain no one is talking about. What's going on guys, Randy here with another crypto video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the bell notification. And if you would like more exclusive content, check out my Patreon, link is down below, where I go over trending coins, my latest trades, and we have a pretty active Telegram group. So today I'm gonna get into Icon, some big things coming up here very, very soon. And actually people are talking about Icon right now, but it's for that specific reason. And it seems to be the people within the Icon community. But in a broader sense, Icon has been consistently overlooked by some other big blockchains, and as they should. But I feel Icon should be right up there in, in, in the discussion with Solana and Polkadot and Phantom and Harmony and uh, even Kadena, another hot blockchain project that is moving its way up the ranks and Icon shouldn't be overlooked. So Icon, since its inception, has set out on a mission to hyperconnect the world. This catchphrase refers to the feature interoperability and the technology to enable. This feature is called Blockchain Transmission Protocol. To realize blockchain's full potential, we want distinct protocols to have compatible ways to interact and communicate with each other and the ability to interoperate at the protocol level. So this is something that Icon set out to do back in 2016, 2017. Things are moving in the right direction to make this happen. And that starts with Icon 2.0 that will be released any day now. Okay, so BTP, it's, gonna, it's going to allow users to move tokens, NFTs, messages, and more across BTP-enabled chains. At this time, BTP integrations are being developed on Polkadot, Kusama, Harmony, Near, and Binance Smart Chains. Now, that's huge to have all of these uh, ecosystems kind of already working with the BTP. And don't think it's going to stop there. Icon has been talking to several projects about integrating and partnering with BTP, and they expect several more networks to join the ecosystem. And one thing that's that's huge and it's worth noting here is that Icon's actually starting to receive inquiries about BTP from other blockchains voluntarily. This is how they foresee the network should run. Okay, now you have this nice core, this nice base that they're already working with of blockchains that are part of BTP. But when, when you have other blockchains knocking at the door, wanting to be a part of this, it goes to show you how big Icon is and that they're moving in the right direction. Another major thing to note, I think a lot of people think, well, Aren't there other blockchains trying to do this interoperability thing? Doesn't Cosmos do it? Isn't WanChain trying to do this? But the thing is, Icon isn't a competitor, but an enabler. It's agnostic. And as, as crypto grows, Icon grows as well. Icon's looking to work together with these blockchains, and they're not co competitors. There's going to be more than one blockchain solution out there. There's going to be more than one interoperability solution. So Icon is looking to enable rather than compete. I'm going to go into a few other blockchains that are compared to Icon and kind of tell you how Icon sets itself apart from these blockchains. And it's not to say that Icon's better, but that their idea, it, it could be, it could eventually be a better idea. So both Polkadot and Cosmos offer an easily forkable architecture to launch your own blockchain, but do not offer many features themselves. In more simple terms, these two projects offer a framework, but they don't support smart contract themselves. You can't technically build on Polkadot or Cosmos, but you can build on their interconnected chains or launch your own application specific chain. So in, in simple terms, Cosmos and Polkadot fall more under the definition of an architecture. To operate a parachain on Polkadot, it costs potentially millions of dollars in, in DOT, to prevail in one of the parachain auctions, which isn't feasible for many projects in itself. Now, BTP, on the other hand, it's uh, more of a product. It's an out-of-the-box solution that is relatively easy to implement on any existing blockchain. BTP is blockchain agnostic, meaning there aren't really any stringent requirements a blockchain must meet in order to implement BTP. You know, other people also mention Solana's wormhole and REN protocol as well, but wormhole and REN protocol's REN bridge are a bit more similar to BTP in the sense that they can link existing chains, but those chains don't necessarily have to be within a specific network or ecosystem like Cosmos or Polkadot. 
Now, whereas BTP, they verify transactions on a smart contract layer, you have uh, Solana's wormhole uses guardians that operate by a set of node operators that include top Solana validators and other ecosystem stakeholders. The guardians are handpicked in a centralized fashion. Now, RenVM helps power the Ren bridge in a, in a similar fashion as wormhole. RenVM has thousands of what are called dark nodes. Like Wormhole, the dark nodes serve as the validators for transactions across the Ren bridge. This is from Scott Smiley. He says in an interview, while in Icon's BTP, the relays have absolutely no control over any of the smart contracts. They cannot be malicious even if they colluded. All they can do is fail to deliver messages. On Icon, relays are a source of liveness, whereas on most other interoperability solutions, relays are a source of security and a source of risk. While malicious behavior may be highly unlikely in other interoperability solutions, it's basically impossible with BTP because the smart contract contracts cannot behave maliciously. It could happen on RenVM. It could happen with Wormhole. It's highly unlikely that there's going to be malicious activity, but with BTP, it's, it's just it's never, ever going to happen. The security of BTP is what makes it stand out above all other solutions. So back in July, Icon decided to build and launch the ICE blockchain in order to free up transactions on Icon for BTP. There was enough concern that there would be a significant amount of BTP transactions that the Icon chain could become too congested in order to ensure application transactions. While it's hard to tell if this will ever actually be the case, the Icon team presumably felt it was realistic enough to warrant building a sister chain geared toward application development. The cool thing about the ICE blockchain is Icon holders will be airdropped a one-to-one -one ICX to ICE ICE token. So if you hold 1,000 ICX, you will be airdropped 1,000 ICE tokens. Pretty, pretty darn cool if you are a holder. Now, as far as I know, this snapshot hasn't been taken yet. We're just days or, or weeks away from Icon 2.0. Let me know down in the comments if you have any information on whether or not the snapshot has been taken to receive ICE tokens. If it hasn't, you might still be able to get in, buy some ICX, and get rewarded in ICE. Now, just a note about the airdrop. To ensure you receive the airdrop, you must be holding your ICX in a wallet in which you control the private keys. For example, the HANA or IconX wallets, unless otherwise noted by your wallet or exchange provider, the airdrop will appear directly in your wallet with no required action by ICX holders. So a little more on ICE. Uh, this new blockchain will bring about a new application hub for the ICON ecosystem. ICE will provide developers better tooling, such as EVM, which is Ethereum Virtual Machine, and EWASM, which is Ethereum WebAssembly compatibility, and immediate access to the growing ETH and Polkadot ecosystems. Now, I had a comment in my last video about ICON, and this person asked, well, why would they need to build this ICE blockchain if they plan on interconnecting with all blockchains, including Ethereum? And that was a, that's a great question. Why would you want to mimic ETH 2.0 when your plan is to integrate with, with it anyway? And I think that ICE is being built for the spillover from Ethereum. It's going to be ready now, whereas ETH 2.0 isn't even out yet. Developers can start using the ICE blockchain now. The purpose of this new blockchain is the much-needed needed addition of EVM compatibility. Icon believes that EVM compatibility is paramount for the growth of the Icon network, just like Polygon. With their recent success, it's a good indicator of why it's so important. It enables developers to iterate and innovate much faster using existing tooling and code from the Ethereum ecosystem and allows for the increased growth prospects of Icon. And by also adding EWASM, that puts Icon ahead of the game preparing for ETH 2.0 compatibility. The ICE blockchain will be focused on the application layer as it is much easier for existing blockchain developers to leverage the tools and code base of EVM compatible networks. Also, applications will be able to port over their services quickly to take advantage of ICON's dedicated user base. And now to touch even more on why EVM compatibility is so important is because it allows Ethereum dApps to be deployed on other faster and cheaper blockchains. So an EVM compatible chain is one is is one that can execute Solidity smart contracts within the native implementation of the Ethereum virtual machine. For example, Aave is a dApp that has been deployed on multiple EVM compatible blockchains. After starting off on Ethereum, Aave made its way to Polygon and most recently Avalanche. This is why Icon 2.0 and BTP is so important for the growth, the development, the future of ICON. And, and now it's, to me, an incredible time to get into the project. Just like Polygon and Avalanche, ICE will allow developers to deploy Solidity contracts designed for Ethereum. To make things even better, ICE will likely be 
BTP enabled at launch, which means it'll be the first EVM compatible blockchain with direct connections to top projects like Icon, Polkadot, Kusama, Binance Smart Chain, Near, Harmony, and more. ICE's BTP connectivity will be a huge selling point for developers. Think about it this way, would you rather deploy to an EVM compatible chain with no cross-chain integrations or an EVM compatible chain with many cross-chain integrations? Icon has always been an ambitious project and it's finally coming to fruition with BTP, Icon 2.0, and here are some articles that I wanna read the headlines for that have happened in the past and it's starting to come together here right now. This is from a thread by CryptoPatio over on Twitter. Icon was named one of the 12 biggest enterprise blockchain players of 2020, especially for their work with the Korean government. Icon Loop secures government backing to test blockchain driver's license project. Korea's largest job search platform is also using Icon Loop. Icon Loop is selected as a leading provider of a pilot project to build blockchain-based ship inspection management platform. Now, if you don't know Icon Loop, they are connected to Icon. It's, it's part of ICON. Also, Korea's National Police Agency uses ICON Loop issued blockchain based police agency big data. All right, taking a look at ICON price, one ICX is $2.11 with a $1.4 billion market cap. ICX hit its all time high back in January 9th of 2018, $13.16. I think it's inevitable that it hits that again, it probably blows by it. I mean, there's too many big catalysts that are happening as we speak uh, to not make this coin fly. It's a huge project that is completing its mission to become the top interoperability solution. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a build, little bit of a sell-off after the airdrop. Some people that got in and uh, just want to want to get out so you could see an, another pullback if you're looking to enter ICX or you never know with the, with the crypto market, it could just explode after that. Either way, if you don't want to miss the boat, $2.11 is a very reasonable price for Icon. And you never know, Icon could be the next blockchain that explodes like, like Avalanche, Solana, Phantom. Make sure you're not on the outside looking in. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the bell notification. Check out my Patreon in the link if you would like more exclusive content from myself. And I'll see you guys next time.